Reporting to you live from Kevin's Kitchen. Where's your apron, Kev? Okay, I was just going <laughs> to say, I am not wearing my apron today on purpose because it's Easter, and I want it to be colorful like an Easter egg, so I'm not wearing my apron right now, but I will on all the other videos. Anyway, today is my little special take on deviled eggs. Okay, I don't like deviled eggs, but everybody says I make the best deviled eggs. I don't know why, but I made my own recipe up, and basically this is how it goes. And I think the reason why mine is maybe better than some other people's is because I don't put anything crunchy in it. I don't put no fresh onion. I don't put cut up pickles, none of that stuff. No. So it's all just nice and creamy going in. Okay, right. so I'll just show you basically. You know, you cut, boil your eggs, cut them, and then you take out your yolks and stuff. I've already put my seasonings in, but I just wanted to show you. So basically, we're going to use salt. I mean salt. <laughs> and then good ground, coarse ground pepper. Just a dash of Lowry, so don't need a whole lot because we're using a lot of salt in this. A couple dashes of lemon pepper. Quite a few dashes of onion powder, like at least four or five. This is for a dozen eggs, I'm sorry, a dozen eggs. And then I put a lot of dill weed in there. And I go like one, two, three, four, at least four of those because that's where you get your pickle taste. Celery salt, that's where you get your celery, but there's no crunchy in it. But salt, 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 see what I mean? So we don't put a whole lot in there. And celery salt is usually very salty. And then just a little bit of garlic powder, okay? And then two teaspoons of regular old mustard, okay? And like my mom always told me, if you're making a salad, any kind of salad, chicken salad, egg salad, 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 it must be done with Miracle Whip. I use mayonnaise on most everything I do, but salads and stuff has to be Miracle Whip, and that's why I do it. Now, I mix this up with a fork, and the reason why I use a fork is that way it's not all really super beat up. You still got a few little chunks of the uh, yolk in there. And then basically, I just go like this. One, oops, sorry. One, two, and maybe a half. And then we just stir it, of course. I can already tell I'm going to need a little more. I don't put too much. That way it's not all too much mayonnaise. So that's why I keep this spoon right here. To be able to, I guess I need a little bit more. You never know because, say, we use, uh, we, we raise our own chickens so we get our own eggs. And the yolks are way thicker and way everything. So sometimes you got to adjust your recipe just because of your yolks. That looks good. So stir it all up. You're not going to beat it too much. And I'll show you why here in this second. Maybe one more dash of mayonnaise. That's, it. That's all this. Uh oh, sorry, kitty. Give this some mayonnaise. Okay. And I know everybody makes deviled eggs, yada yada yada. Then that's fine. But this is just my version. Okay, look. Now, nice and chunky. I leave those chunks in there, and that's all you get as far as chunk. But here's the special neat thing about mine on Easter weekend. And I like to do this on the Easter weekend, but been doing it about the past four years. Or so. Actually, since Salem's been born, actually. Mainly for my neighbors next door and stuff like that. Anyway, we actually color our eggs. Green. Oh, cool. Our egg whites, should I say. Blue. Yellow. And then red. Okay, they come out pink. See that? Now, I'm going to tell you the recipe for that. I'm going to set it here just so I can show you. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Isn't that super neat? Most people decorate Easter eggs, and then they hide them and stuff like that for the kids. You bust your shell off. It's done. Mine are dyed egg whites. And I'm going to tell you, half a cup of water to three drops of whatever uh, food dye you like, food coloring. Uh, you can mix them, you know how to make orange and yellow and all those different colors. You could do that. I just made it real easy for today. We just got red, yellow, blue, and green. Now, you put it in there, and literally, you only leave it in for about two minutes. I put these in right before we started this video, so however long that is. I would say about two minutes. Okay, so you got your eggs done. and you Well, first thing you do is I rinse, rinse them very good. See? But I'm real careful so I don't bust them up too much. But I just rinse all that egg off, you know, because it gets all over that. I rinse it off, and then I drop it in there for two minutes, and then we come over here, and we fill it. And then after I fill mine, which I didn't pull it out, I'm so silly, I set that right there. I always dash mine with a touch of paprika. Not a whole lot, just a little dash, 
Give a little cup. Oh, <laughs> I said that and it poured out. <laughs> it came out like super fast. Watch, I'm gonna blow it. Ooh, and I'm gonna eat it. And then <laughs> issue a colored deviled egg. I love it. For Easter. I love it, I love it. Okay, and of course, this was going to my lovely wife. She'd try it right now. Tell me Aww. if it's any good. Try it, baby. Tell me if it's any I good. I will. Let me unzoom here. Okay, unzoom. Okay. Go on and try that. Oh, my and then God. I'll make, uh, let's do a blue one because it's real colorful. Mm. And so I don't know. I always have one, and it's just because I made them. I always, since Karen been around, I, These are uh, amazing. I always will eat one just to mm. celebrate, but I don't really care for them. But I'm going to take a bite here now to celebrate with y'all. Mm. Just a little bit like that. That's more likely to ship. Really Look, good. isn't that cute? What is that? What do you mean, what is that? Oh, that's just the way the egg. Oh, did. You no, know, no, the whole thing is cute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it what I'm talking amazing. about. So, anyway, that's the color. That's colored deviled eggs for Easter. Oh, yeah. Let's see you do it. Okay, like a Patron shot. Do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Patron shot. Now, I'm telling you, if you oh, that don't need nothing. That's so good. Not bad. For you not eating deviled eggs. <laughs> Such salty, but it's good. I tell you, you gotta be careful with that salt. Anyway, happy Easter, y'all. Hey. You got the white on the inside. Yay. Great job. That was fantastic. There we are. Kevin's Kitchen. What is this? These are my colored deviled eggs for Easter. Look, I even made an orange one. A couple orange ones. A couple almost purple. So, green, pink, blue, yellow, purple, oh and orange. And I've honestly been nibbling on them already. Thank you, Kev. Those are <laughs> so are tasty. Lunch. Yeah, me. Fantastico. Yep.